Right, golfers, let me prove to you one thing that could be affecting your ball flight. It could be the reason why you swing the way that you do, and it could also be preventing you from making those swing changes that you want to. Have I got your attention? Good. Let me explain. So that one thing is lie angle. As it's defined, it's fairly simple to understand. It's the measurement of the angle formed by the hosel or the shaft, whichever one you want, and the ground. When the head's lying flat on the floor and the grooves are parallel to the ground. When you've got a greater lie angle, the club is more upright and vice versa. When you've got less of an angle, the club is more flat. So firstly, what effect does that have on ball flight? Let's get into the hitting studio. I've set up two clubs. One club's two degrees flat and one is two degrees upright. I've also put slightly different shafts in them as well. The two degrees upright club, I've put an inch longer shaft than standard in it. And the two degrees flat one, I've put minus half an inch in. And that's basically gonna make them even more extreme. So the flat one having a shorter shaft will make it even flatter. And the more upright club with a longer shaft in it will make that upright even more extreme. I'm gonna hit about 10 shots with each of these clubs. In the comments down below, what do you think will happen to each ball flight? Let's start with the flat one first. Now let's hit some with the upright lie and the longer shaft. You've still got time in the comments down below. What do you think is gonna to happen to both? So let's take a look at the comparison of both clubs. Now, the two degrees flat is in red, the two degrees upright is in the greeny color. Now, because of the shaft lengths, I am swinging them at slightly different speeds, which is why you'll see the ball speeds are slightly different as well. Anyway, look at the direction that they're going. The two degrees flat is missing target right and starting right. The two degrees upright is missing left and starting left. So why is that? Take a look at this. I've got a rod coming off of my club face here and my lie is nice and flat on the floor and that is pointing straight down the target. If I move my club to an upright position, look at how that rod now starts to point to the left. Upright missed target left and this is why that loft and club face is now left of target making that ball start left and finish left. If I raise my handle, the opposite happens. I'm now in a flatter position, my club face and loft are now pointing to the right that ball's gonna start right and finish right. And if we take a look at the comparison of the club head data, look at the dynamic lie. The two degrees flat is 3.5 degrees flat and the upright is 1.2 degrees upright, which has a massive effect on where that ball starts and where it finishes. Now, do you want to know how it affects your swing? I thought you might, but before we do, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And also if you're enjoying the content, give the video a thumbs up. And don't forget, subscribers, turn that bell notification on so you don't miss any new uploads. With the shots I hit previously, I tried not to adjust my swing depending on what club I had. So my paths were pretty similar. My angles of attack were pretty similar. I just tried to let that lie influence start direction and that end result. So if I put an upright club in my hands, as soon as I'm stood over it, I feel like it's gonna go left. I know the impact of what that lie and how that club's looking down at the ground is gonna have on that end result. So I now do things in my swing to try and prevent that and hit that ball straighter. And you'll be doing that too. Check this out. I'm gonna hit two shots here. I've got the upright club in my hands. I'm gonna hit one shot with just my normal swing and then I'm gonna hit another one trying to find target. So my normal swing, the ball should miss left of target like we saw in the earlier results. My second one, I'm gonna try and not miss left, try and hit target, or even try and miss target to the right. So first one, normal swing. Definitely going left. Now let's try and hit as straight as we can, maybe even try and miss a little right. There we go, so I've done it. I've managed to miss target right. The two swings felt completely different. And that second one is not how I want my swing to feel. It's not the ideas that I wanna have in my golf swing. 
And if your lies aren't right, you might be doing this in your golf swing too. Let's take a look at the two swings then. So on the left hand side is my normal setup, my normal swing. The right hand side is me trying to fight against that upright lie, trying to hit as straight a shot as possible. And what do we notice? Look at my posture to start with. I'm standing loads taller when I'm trying to fight against that upright lie. I haven't got as many angles in my body and I'm also standing what feels like a little bit closer to it as well. My hands are higher. Look at those two lines there. My hands are definitely higher. Although it's minute, I am definitely standing taller closer to it, which is resulting in me trying to flatten that lie out. Moving on to impact, this is as close as I could get the two um, videos with the frame rates and captures and things like that. And it looks to me as if my handle is further forward when I'm trying to fight against that upright lie. I'm doing everything I can here to get that handle forward to open the club face and fight that upright lie. And if we move it on a little bit further to after impact, look at where the club head position is as well with those two shots. The club head is outside my hands on my usual normal swing compared to where I'm fighting against that upright lie again. I'm really feeling like I'm having to exit left, feeling like I'm dragging that handle and that's also having an influence on that club face and the positioning of it. So there you go guys, hopefully that's helped you understand what lie is, what effects it might have on your ball flight and also what effects it might have on your swing. If you're unsure if your lies are correct for you or not. I'd suggest going for a fitting, especially if you're in the market for a new set of clubs. And also here, especially in the UK, most pro shops have loft and lie machines. So go and knock on your pro's door and ask if he or she can help you with your lies also. Who knew that lie could be playing such a big part in your golf performance? I hope you've enjoyed the video. And remember, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that big red button, turn the bell notifications on, so when I upload new videos, you'll know when they've gone up. And also, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you hit that like button because I like it and so does YouTube. Thanks all for watching. Hope that helps. See you all in the next video.